What's up guys, this is Psycho here again with another average speedrun. This is probably my least favorite and I'll tell you why in a minute. What you want to do is drive up a little bit, only let the gunner get on. Do not let... Well, um, okay, apparently I didn't cut that out. Anyway, as you can see the uh, gunner did not get on the back of my thing so you have to restart. What you want is not to let the rocket guy get on, only let the gunner get on because the rocket guy will shoot enemies right next to you and make you go flying through the air, flip over, even kill you. So you don't want to do that and you want to stick to the left side, hug the wall. If there's an object in the road, just go up on the wall a little bit and uh, you should be fine. But this is my least favorite one I've speed ran through so far. Just because of this part in the tunnel where you have to drive the car through, you'll see me die a couple of times. It's really annoying. I just, I either the Warhog does 180s, it drives up walls, like it does a whole bunch of things that I'm not trying to do. I'm, I'm just holding straight. I don't know why it, it does all this random stuff. We'll see if any of it comes up in the video, but uh. But yeah, you want to just hug this left contact. wall. If your Warhog catch is on fire on the bridge, just restart because you're going to explode as soon as you get inside the tunnel. It's not even worth it. But yeah, this That's this level was a headache. Um, I actually just did this just now. I've been trying it for like an hour. So I'm a little bit annoyed with this level right now. So I don't know how this commentary is going to end up being. Um, this is my least favorite part coming up right now. I'm sure a lot of you have problems as well with this. I don't know how people do it on their first try consistently. It's ridiculous. I usually slow down at the ramp. Um, yeah, see, if you see that you're going to flip or something, just restart. There's no point in trying to fix it. But yeah, I usually slow down. You want to wiggle past this bus. Go in between the blue box, red van, and this. I got sniped. I hate the sniper so much. They, they just make me so mad. Sometimes they snipe me before I even like get near them. They're just across the world, dude. It's, they're just the most annoying thing to me. But yeah, you want to go in between these. Try to touch this. Don't hit the corner like I did. Though. You want to go all the way to the left so that you touch that white thing. And then you want to quickly go back to the right and fling yourself up. See here, I was just getting aggravated and I tried to see what happened if I just flung myself over as fast as possible. It uh, didn't work out too well. I think around three minutes is when I get it. This is just so you can see that I get BS a lot, just like everyone else. Man. I don't. People that can do this consistently, it, I mean, I have no idea how they do it. Really do. So you want to touch this box, fling your side. I would have made it there, but I got blown up. This Warhawk can only take so much damage before it just gives. I don't know what happened there, but I ended up making it, so I continue downwards. So you want to touch that, quickly go to the right. I don't know what happened. Somehow, like, the brakes just went on the Warhog, and I just stopped moving. Definitely did not do that myself, so I don't know. A lot of <laughs> you get stuck here, too. I somehow squirmed out. And I didn't have enough speed there. Oh, I actually wiggled myself up. Awesome. All right, there we go. I made it three minutes. If I don't make it by four minutes, I usually restart. That's just my personal time. Though. You can keep going if you haven't done it yet. <clears throat> I got stuck in the tunnel. I don't know why. What you want to do is go to the right of the jackal. That way you don't flip over in the warhog. If you go to the left, there's a good chance you're going to flip. And you want to turn this corner. Now, I've never choked here so hard before. I must have hit every leg you can possibly hit. I run into this leg, I get stuck, I'm pretty sure I explode, yeah. Then I run into the other leg, then I run into both of the legs. I've never choked so hard. Oh, I got so mad. I made it all the way to the part where you have to jump onto the scarab at the very end, and I failed the jump, so I reloaded the last checkpoint. It started me in the tunnel before, like, before you squirm your way through all those cars. It didn't give me this checkpoint, it didn't give me the next checkpoint you're supposed to get, and it didn't give me the third checkpoint you're supposed to get. It screwed me at a three checkpoints, and I was only at six minutes. I was going for a new time for me. I was really upset. I don't know what happened there. I must have got turreted to death or something. But <clears throat> This level has just been so aggravating for me. I never want to play it again. I don't care. My time was pretty good for me. There's no way I'm gonna do this in four minutes like everyone else. So. That's why this is the average speedrun though, not the pro speedrun.
No way I am not on that level. But uh, yeah, if you finally squirm your way in here, you should get a checkpoint right here. If you don't get it, wait till your shield comes back up and you should you should always get a checkpoint there. Now you're supposed to fling yourself onto the wraith, but uh, I'm not good enough to do that. So what I like to do is hop out and kill the two snipers because they snipe me 99% of the time that I actually get onto the wraith. And uh, you can see I was turning around. It's because the ghosts were actually chasing me down the last time I did this. But after you kill the two snipers, you want to get in the warhog. You want to try to jump. <laughs> Not in directly in front of it. It was splatter. You want to try and jump on the wraith. I accidentally jump on the back. You don't want to do that. I do it again. You want to jump on the side so you can punch the gunner out. Or the driver out, I mean. Once you can throw a grenade, throw one frag in there. Continue to punch the white elite. They take forever to die. Once he's finally dead like that, you want to hop inside of it. Now, I think I get really lucky here. You're supposed to shoot at this wraith, but the, the uh, warhog actually ends up killing the wraith. That's the first time that's ever happened for me, so I was really happy about that. You want to go behind this little ramp and shoot the guns off of this phantom. It makes it go away faster and it stops killing you. I've actually died by it before. <coughs> but you also want to hide behind this wraith when the other wraith, or behind the ramp when the wraith is still alive. That way you can have cover. What you want to do is hop out, trade your secondary for this. I should mention that I have the Sputnik skull on right now because it makes this part so much easier as you'll see. I think I do it in my first try. It's a lot harder without the skull. You can do it without the skull, but I'll show you, I'll try to explain really quickly. But yeah, you want to go up here and go to the right. <coughs> Now, without the skull, you want to jump on that little light thing, place your foot in the center, and then grenade jump yourself, but from... <laughs> oh, I messed up the jump the first time. I still get it, though. But, um, yeah, you want to center your foot and then grenade the bottom of your foot, and it'll launch you up top. Without it, you want to throw a nade off the wall there and then land up on this thing. You want to place your foot on this little line here. Aim right there. That's where you should aim on the first jump, too. As soon as the computer starts saying... I don't think this thing is going to stop. Throw a grenade and launch yourself. You will you should either land if you're not using the skull. You'll land on the head and just keep jumping until you get to where I landed. And with the skull, obviously, you want to aim to the left. So that you go in between the two little, little bar things up on the top and you'll land right here. You have to go down this ramp and wait right here. Otherwise, an invisible barrier will knock you off. So you want to wait right here until you see the grunt on the left spot. <coughs> Now you don't have to do what I'm about to do, you can just run forward if you want. What I do though is to make sure the elite doesn't kill me is run up here. And then jump on its head. And then you want to kind of crouch here and sort of fall down onto this ledge. And you want to switch to the old graphics. And then you want to use the plasma rifle we picked up and then the BR to take these guys out. I was worried at first. Because <coughs> you need to kill all three elites down here. And the third one is a white one and as you see he's not there. But luckily he comes out. And uh, he likes to be a pain. He likes to hide behind this wall. And I don't have any grenades. So I thought he wasn't going to come out. But luckily he comes out and I kill him. And that's the end of the level. I did it in 8 minutes and 7 seconds. My previous record was 10.51. So I did it in like 2 minutes and 44 seconds faster I think off the top of my head. But yeah I was really happy about this time. Uh, as you can see, first on my friends list. I don't really have anyone special on there, but it's always nice to be first. And uh, yeah, that's the level. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I've got the next three or four levels done already. I'm really happy about Regress, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.